Now when I want to do a brand new search, it's pretty straightforward. There's, there's a couple places you'll be doing searches like this. First within contacts here, and then later, and we'll look at this within notifications. Over here, here's another place you're going to be searching for these contacts. In either place, you are going to have this new search option, and it brings up the same default behavior. It shows you a list of contacts, all beginning with the letter A, just to kind of give you an example what this looks like. Here's the, here's the search results two users. Well, let's, um, let's go ahead and search for all the users. I'll just put in an asterisk. You can also use the question mark as a wildcard character for single characters. And that's going to look through all the names of all my contacts. So in this case, it's going to end up showing a, a fairly you know, a long list. This is going to be all the Active Directory users configured in this particular you know, Active Directory server. Now one of the things that kind of you may not find real intuitive is once you've done a search and you would like to kind of clear things out, what you can do is just delete those searches straight from here. So here's a search. This list here is a list of searches. You can see the little icon indicates that that is a search. So if I do a right click, I can choose delete, and that's going to delete that search for me. Just make sure you're, what you're deleting is a search. Not, you know, you're not going to go into this escalation team and, for example, accidentally delete one of these. We're just talking about the searches that we're doing here. Okay, you can also search uh, by other criteria. We saw name, but you can also search by description or by Active Directory Department. So those are options available to you. Uh, let me show you how this would work over in the notifications area here. If I'm looking at the subscriptions tag, I want to find a new you know, contact over here. Same deal. I'll just click on New Search. I'll go ahead and type the name of uh, you know whatever search criteria. Actually, in this case, I'll look for that uh, that home email that we just created. Notice that's not that is not an Active Directory user, but it is a contact, so we find it anyway. So you know, it's not just searching through Active Directory; it's searching through all the contacts, which, as it ends up, includes Active Directory users, but it's not limited to them. So Again, if I do a search for everything, it gives me the full list, including that home email, that user who is not an Active Directory user, or the contact who is not an Active Directory user. Now, again, same thing here. You, you keep you keep up with these searching searches. Pretty soon, you're going to have something that's just uh, dominating all of your workspace here. So you can just remove these search results, and again, make sure you don't accidentally, you know, go in and remove something that you actually need. So um, those are search results within the Subscriptions tab here. Now you'll notice that in all the searches we've done so far, we haven't uh, had a choice to find groups, Active Directory groups. We're only finding users. Now the reason for that is because it is a default setting when you install notifications. And to change that, I'd have to choose Notifications from this Navigator panel down here. And then up here, choose Tools, Notification Settings, this is one of the global configuration items here. As you can see, we can either choose to show or not show the Active Directory group. So that's how you would make that change. Just go ahead and change that to true. And then when you do searches, now uh, we will show you Active Directory groups as well. Now I'll go ahead and demonstrate over here. We do a brand new search. We'll search for everything. Yeah, there we go. As you can see now, in addition to the users that we saw earlier, now we're seeing entire groups.